As of the 22nd of June 2016, the Door and Hardware Federation trade body that represents the UK gate and door industry has released a new code of practice. Several key elements of this code of practice have been designed to demystify complex standards and make things clearer for installers and maintainers of gates and barriers to understand. One area clarified are safety tests in the sliding gate portal area. In the following animations, we will explain in simple terms how to carry out these tests in line with the code of practice. Firstly, you will require a compliant test piece as illustrated on screen. This must meet the dimensions specified of 120mm by 120mm in diameter and 500mm in length. It must also be made of a rigid material such as steel or hard polycarbonate. The aim of this test piece is to verify that the safety edges fitted in the portal area are configured in such a way so that they detect any potential draw-in or shearing risks. Let's take a look at a typical sliding gate setup. To verify that the safety edges are correctly placed and are protecting against drawing and shearing risks, the gate should first be switched safely to manual release mode. Please ensure that it is safe to do so before proceeding. Then insert the portal edge test piece into the gate in one of these three configurations. The first configuration is for gates with wide spacing. Place the test piece as far into the infill as you can or centered if possible. The second configuration is for narrow spacing. Place the test piece so that it fills as much of the gap as possible. And the final configuration is for a gate infill that is protected by a fine mesh. Place the test piece against the mesh so that it fills as much of the gap as possible. Once in place, carefully push the sliding gate leaf toward the portal edges to ensure the test piece is detected. Ensure that the test piece is detected on both sides of the gate portals. If the test piece fails to activate the safety edges, then this is considered a fail, and further preventative steps must be taken to address this hazard. For example, the edges may need to be moved further in or changed for a different type and depth of profile. Repeat the tests for any further portals or positions relevant on the gate. The sliding gate full speed impact test assesses the suitability of portal fixed edges. These edges should be the same type used on the leading closing edge to ensure safe values are met. Following completion of these tests on any type of gate, it is recommended to create a report or document presenting the values recorded, along with the location and details of the customer's gate, and date and time and conditions that the tests were carried out under. This information is vital to demonstrate compliance, and provides written evidence that the gate was safe on the date of testing. For more advice on DHF TS011 Code of Practice, and to stay up to date with the latest in gate automation and safety, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash easygates. Like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter.